Hey, good morning everyone. Day four here at Sea Otter and I am here with Toby from Bimodal, the founder and CEO of what appears to be one of the more uni uh, unique drive systems we've seen for electric bikes. So tell us a little bit more about what's going on here at the Bimodal. Yeah, thank you. Um, so this is the Bimodal Elevate and it's a drive system that you can add to pretty much any disc brake bike. And the cool thing is it's super light. Um, you can take it on and off really quickly. So it's on a quick release system here. So you can pop the drive unit off. Um, it's two and a half pounds. Battery is about 2.75 pounds. So you've got roughly a five and a half, 5.7 pound total e-bike system. Um, and so it's really exciting because you can take a 25 pound bike and build 30, 31 pound e-bike. Yeah. Um, but you got to keep your pedal bike at the same time. So. Yeah, and I actually had the opportunity to ride the bimodal the other day on a Santa Cruz, and it was quite the experience for me because I was wondering if I would feel very weighed down in the back, if I'd know, hey, I have a big drive system on this bike. But no, it felt like that standard bicycle that I'm used to, but with the touch of assistance when I needed it here and there with the throttle. So it sounds like you guys have the throttle only pretty figured out and you're working on the pedal assist. Tell me a little bit more about that pedal assist process you're working on. Yeah, so that's that's right. So we're developing pedal assist, and we hope to have sort of beta testing in about six months on that system. Um, it will be a wireless strain gauge based sensor on the cranks or in the pedals. Cool. Um, so it'll talk, you know, over Bluetooth. We've got an ant chip in the device, um, and we'll basically map that the user input to motor torque, just like any other mid drive e bike. Very cool. And speaking of motor torque, it sounds like this thing is able to produce consistently around 50 newton meters of torque and up to 100, I hear? Yeah, so for the show and for the test rides, it's been set to 50 newton meters right now, but we're working on getting it up to 100 peak for quick acceleration bursts and steep climbs. Very cool, very cool. And why don't you show us how easy this is to take on and off the bike. You already took it off, but I was very impressed when we were messing with this yesterday, how easy it is to just take on and off. And in my opinion, that makes the use case that much more versatile, just how easy it is to get on, take back off. Exactly, yeah. So the it, it really lets you have kind of a dynamic riding experience. Um, use it as a shuttle going uphill. If you've got friends, and different friends are lagging and they have the mounts, you can pass the motor between friends. There's just a million ways you can use this thing. Um, and it's super exciting. We're, yeah. we're really stoked. So well, a little throttle blip here. Listen to that baby roar. So there is some very apparent power and very cool technology going into the bimodal. Super fun to rip and rip the throttle on this thing. Yeah. Once you get the hang of how to engage this, it's really cool. I'm a fan. Some XC Pros. Definitely a different style of riding with this thing on. Toby, I really appreciate you giving us a quick rundown yeah, of your absolutely. product. And where can people find this? Where can they find it if they're super interested and want to give it a shot? Yeah, so we're, we're located in San Francisco, California. Um, so you can come by our shop, check mm -hmm. it out. Um, find us online, bimodal.com. Reach out, we'll schedule a test ride. Mm -hmm. 
Um, thanks again, Toby. These guys have been super awesome to work with. So we, even if you have detailed or minor questions, definitely hit them up. They're personable and it's a good team behind a great product. So with that being said, I appreciate it. And let's get on to our next interview today. <laughs>